Hey everybody, I am on the shore of Lake Superior doing some rock hunting and seeing what I can find today. I actually came to the spot a few days ago and I got really lucky. Oh, you can see the bands from here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Just plucked this out. This is one of the most unique agates I've ever found. And here are those finds today, and something I was really excited to hopefully find more of. Some more awesome Lake Superior agates in this one. It's got an A and a D in the banding. It's the first ever AD agate. <laughs> so excited, but I noticed right away when I got here that because of recent rainfall, a lot of the sediment and the clay and everything was kicked up in the lake and the water looks like this. So it's going to be really hard to find anything today. I am now resorting to looking just on the beach and on the banks. And I have had a little luck on the way over to this spot where I found all of these rocks. It hasn't looked like this the whole way, but here's some of our finds. <laughs> Sweet. Laminite stained. Kind of blue. Lake Superior Reggae. So I still think there's a chance that we're going to be able to find some pretty sweet stuff today, but we are going to have to work a little bit harder. And I was excited because I fixed my view tube and I'm not going to get to use it today because you can't see into this sediment filled water on Lake Superior. But let's keep looking to see what else we can find. This looks like just a little one, but definitely uh, whoa super far away <laughs> just a little nodule right there that's pretty so as I was looking under these logs to see if I can find any more goodies hiding in there because the first agate with all that limonite is one that I actually found in between some logs but I saw right in there I'm pretty sure that's a, a fairly decent sized chunk of Jasper so we'll grab it <sighs> The red makes me think it's Jasper. It might not be, but <laughs> let's clean it off. Well, it looks like it has some Jasper-like qualities to it, but it's, I was hoping it'd be more red. I'm gonna leave this one here. That's not a very nice piece. So I just brought my backpack up here to put uh, some of those agates I showed you in my bag. And I was looking and I saw this right here. I'm not going to make any assumptions on what it is, but the skin of it, see that caught my eye, that yellow, it has conchoidal fractures and stuff. So we're going to pull it out if we can. <clears throat> going to pull it out and get it cleaned off. That's unique. Might be some, maybe a big chunk of Jasper. Not sure what else. I don't hunt this area very often, so it's got some different mineralogy and everything here. -hoo -hoo -hoo! Lake Superior is very cold today. Oh, come on. Ugh. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, that is heavy. That's probably like 15 pounds. My hopes and dreams were that there'd be some, <laughs> maybe some bands on it. Is that limonite? I was thinking maybe it's limonite stained agate. Let me take a closer look. I'll get splashed by waves and then I'll let you know what I think. I think that that is a chunk of jasper, but the yellow limonite really throws me. I'm pretty sure it's limonite. If it's not, I mean, you know, it's, I don't, I'm not an expert in it, but. I want to bring it home, but I don't want to carry it with me the whole time, so I'm going to leave it here. I have to walk through here on my way back. On my way back, I'm going to grab it. I don't think anybody else is out here today. It's just me and the lake and the rocks. So on the way back, we will throw it in the bag, and then uh, we really just got started, so I won't have that far to carry back. So I'm going to grab my bag, and we'll keep making our way through this mess of trees and rocks. All 
Uh, I just spotted something. Oh, did it toss it up here? Oh, it did. Sweet. So, one of the other things. <laughs> there's a light. There it is. One of the other things that I found here. Oh man, that went right up my shorts. Um, this area seems to have what uh, somebody helped me identify it as some fossil soup. So it looks like there's little remnants of a fossil here. It's likely coral. This piece doesn't have as much, but I'm really excited to hopefully find some more of that today too. So yeah, see what else we can find. I'll leave this here. Might have another one. This is what it kind of looks like. Looks like chert. That's what made me grab it when I came here the other day. And then I found it was full of, full of fossils. This piece, micro, nothing really spectacular. We're gonna leave it. Hopefully we find at least one more cool one like that. All right, if this isn't an agate. Oh, I was gonna say, if it's not an agate, I'm gonna jump in the lake. <laughs> yeah, sweet, check out them bands. There we go. That limonite staining is a dead giveaway. If anybody wonders why I love limonite stained agates, it's a dead giveaway. And that's beautiful. Phenomenal bands on that. Sweet. Minus the mosquitoes. One of the annoying things is as I'm walking right here, I can feel so many rocks. When I came here the other day, it was super clear. I didn't need the view tube or anything. And I was only here for like 10, 15 minutes and I found those spectacular agates and that one fossil soup. And so this is a spot I will be coming back to in hopes that it doesn't look like that but we're making the best from the time we have here and I'm happy with how it's gone so far finding some pretty sweet stuff and um, we're, we're starting to find some more rocks on the beaches which is good it just takes a little more a little bit more effort but it's worth it I mean how can you complain in a day like this right it's so beautiful I stopped to take my water shoes off because I was getting so much sand on them because it just drives me nuts. Such a gross feeling, but found a little bit of beach glass. I love this stuff. I love the green stuff. Sweet. It's our first piece of porphyry. <laughs> nice. Orange feldspar crystals in there. I'll leave this one, but fun finding it. See that goose? That goose just came out of nowhere. And I may need a diaper change. Scared the scared the heck out of me. But I saw this. More yellow. There it goes, come on. <clears throat> What are you? Not, not what I'm looking for. It's pretty. And it'll be right there if anybody wants it. <laughs> well, our rocky beach has turned into kind of a log jam like this. <laughs> but much, much, much bigger. And on the other side, there's very, very sandy beaches. So. Oh gosh, I'm gonna make my way back. Hopefully we find some more stuff along the way. We'll get the big rock, just in case it's something special. And uh, yeah, so far I've been pretty happy with everything we found. First piece of red oolitic jasper right here. There we go. That's pretty. Some good red on that. So there's a boat out there, but that's not why I stopped to talk. Oh, snap. Come on. Oh. Caught it with clay on my face. Anyways, I stopped because I found a similar stone to that bigger one. Except. I don't know what to think of it. 
it looks like a I'm being careful it looks like a giant nodule kind of but it has these really unique details in it which makes me think fossil but the husk on it it's not as porous as a regular rock would be let me show you this and this one's absolutely coming home with me right now <laughs> if you remember a little bit ago we found that porphyry so from there to here is that stone this is the stone I have other large agates that have the same feeling on the husk you can see all these weird details in there it's kind of waxy folks I don't know what to think of this we're gonna bring this home we're gonna get it really really clean and we'll show you at the end I don't know what to think of this I'm not saying it's an agate but it's very very interesting oh my gosh it's so heavy <laughs> I'm I'm pretty excited about that I love unique rocks that are big this one squirrel quartz this one this one's getting me excited this is awesome It's a lot heavier now. We may abandon that other one. <laughs> Two things though. I um I got bit on the knuckle by a mosquito. And can you imagine if that was an agate? <laughs> that thing's huge. It's probably like 18 pounds. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep going to see what else we can find. Alright, I need your help with an ID, folks. This is so beautiful. I think it's probably a Jasper, variation of Jasper, but this backside is gnarly. So pretty. <laughs> like this much of it was sticking out of the sand and I dug it out and I was like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. So yeah, let me know if you know what that is. I'm gonna, it's funny, it's got like two parts to it. Anyway, that's cool. Snatched this little one up before the lake grabbed it back from me. It's probably some corn horal, I'd say. It's probably a good guess. Oh, I don't know if I got it. My fingers slipped. I got hit by a wave and it went to slow-mo mode, but I just grabbed this. <laughs> that side, I was like, those look like tubes. Get out of town. What a sweet find. <laughs> well, there it is. It'll stay here. Stay right in that spot. I'm gonna leave it. I think it's just some Jasper. I don't think it's anything else. I'm not saying Jasper's not cool, but I already got a big one in my bag, so we'll keep looking, seeing what else this lake has turned over. You can see, there they are, then they go away. I've sat over and hovered. It's like impossible to grab anything. I should have brought my scoop with my big one and just started sifting through it. Next time, we got another fossil soup. Can't remember what that's called, but little one in there, itty bitty one. Well, I just grabbed this out of that hole right there. Thought it was some chert, and I think, ow, right in my eye. Pretty sure. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Some more corn horal. That is sweet. That's so pretty. Fossils are awesome. So, a couple things. Um, no! I think I found some 
porphyry with some like little egg nodules in it. It's a thing. I've actually cut open porphyry and found uh, egg bands in the host. Hold on. It's nothing. All right. Um, so I'm slowly making my way back through all these logs. It's like a log, log maze. I've been getting eaten alive <laughs> by mosquitoes out here. And one of my other videos, same thing. Not as bad this time, but it's been enough. Enough to mention it. You guys told me to bring my bug spray. I brought it. It's been in my backpack. It didn't make a difference. I'm still getting eaten by bugs. So <laughs> I forgot to put it on up until about 20 minutes ago. I was like, you should have wore that. All right, so I've made it back to the point where pretty much go up the bank to the vehicle and I'm sinking in the sand here hold on I'm gonna head up head of the vehicle normally I'd end it right here and be like that was a good one. Ah. but we're gonna head back and take a look at that big rock I'm tempted to soak it in iron out because just to see what happens but I'm gonna mull it over but we'll head back we'll get it cleaned up one way or another and we'll see if we can get a better idea on it I'm pretty excited about that find so we'll see you in just a second So I got this back and cleaned it off. Looks pretty much the same. A lot of these little bits in there, they're very waxy. They look kind of eggity. Not too sure. So what I'm gonna do is stick it in that bucket with some iron out and see if it makes a difference. So we'll do that and we'll see you in a day. So after I put our really big find in that iron out, I forgot I put it in there and sadly, huh, it burnt the heck out of the bottom. Never seen that before. It's absolutely insane. So yeah, sadly, our big piece, it's got a burn mark. I think what I should do with it is send it off to somebody with a gigantic, gigantic saw. Maybe they'll uh, cut it for me. I have somebody in mind. I'll see if they want to or not. There is... It's just weird. It's not very porous. It's kind of waxy. I know the color, looking at it on here compared to here, is a little different. It's more red. And these little pockets are really, really pretty. If you have any idea what this is, it looks, looks like it has quartz in there. So it's kind of unique. I think it would be a fun one to get a bunch of slabs on. I don't know what it is, to be honest. Looks much better wet and unburnt. I cannot believe I forgot it was in there, and I can't believe it did that to this. I've soaked other things before, and I've never had that burning effect, so... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to think of this one. But anyways, we had some pretty good finds at that spot. I was pretty bummed out that the, uh, the water was so turned up with all the sediment from recent rains, but hey... We'll go back. We'll find more. This is what we have to look forward to. Stuff like this. The AD agate. I think I'm going to soak that in mineral oil. This sweet guy. And we got this really awesome limonite stained one. One that we found <laughs> kind of in between some logs. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, not too bad. I also found this guy. This is really pretty. Much better wet. And yes, I did lick that. I sure did. Well, I hope you all had a lot of fun on that rock hunt, even though the spot wasn't as good as it could have been and was not as good as it was days prior when I went out there. I was so sad when I showed up and saw all that sediment that was kicked up. The potential for that spot, though, is really exciting. So we will get back there, and if you want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe or follow button so you don't miss it. We will be getting back, hopefully before the snow flies. I'm really excited to get back there. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. And let me know if you got any, any, blah, 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 any ideas on an ID for that really big find. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.